Hey guys, as you can see, we are battling a bit of a rainstorm here. We don't want to keep you waiting. We are coming uh, as fast as we can once the cell passes. You can see the tents lowered to protect all of our equipment. Um, so it looks like this cell should be passing through here relatively soon. We do have the Bronco brand manager here ready to talk to you guys and answer your questions. So hang in there. We're not going anywhere. We're just waiting for this rain to get past. All the B-roll you're seeing was recorded earlier. So the sunny, no rain is not the situation. As you can probably hear the rain and see behind me, uh, it is what it is. So we'll be back in just a minute. Don't leave. The stream's going to stay going, uh, but we'll be back with you in a few minutes. We'll keep you updated in the chat. Just wanted to check in and show you guys the current situation. So hang in there.
<laughs> well, hello guys and welcome to Bronco Nation Live. Thank you so much for bearing with us as we got through uh, this little cell that decided to pop up right when we were supposed to go live. It's always an adventure here at Bronco Nation, but that's what we love about it and that's what keeps us here because there's no two days out of the same. So if you don't know, we're live from Supercell West here in Buena Vista, Colorado. It is beautiful and uh, now it smells really nice because of the rain. We got a action-packed show for you guys. We're going to talk about the most recent content highlights. What do we recap? We're going to talk about Iceland. We have the Bronco brand manager here from Ford. Very new Bronco brand manager is here for the first time answering your guys' questions. Um, We're going to talk about upcoming events. We're going to talk about our new accessory partners, production, merch. Take your questions, all sorts of stuff. So we did start a little bit late, so we're going to get right to it. But want to thank you all so much for joining us, as always, and uh, extending your patience because Obviously, we can't control the weather. So first, I want to transition over to Laura, who's going to talk about some of our latest content, what's been going on at Bronco Nation, and uh, yeah. What's right. the news, Laura? So one of the first things that we wanted to talk about was the Heritage Broncos and sports. So Matt did a walk around, and we posted all... He did all, three walk arounds. He did three. three. Was, <laughs> I was about to say, we posted all three. Um, so we started out with the Heritage Limited, which is the one that is the most special of the special editions, if you want to go that way, because it's the limited to 1966 Broncos. So that one was one of the first ones we put up. We can take a link to it. We'll probably put it in the description box afterwards. Yeah. Yep. Um, and watch that one if you're interested in uh, a Bronco that's coming out first in only peak blue, uh, Robin's Egg Blue. Mm -hmm. And then late availability is Yellowstone. And then we've got one coming in peak blue in 2024, which um, if you go in the forums, if you want to see that on a Bronco, uh, Matt posted, um, it's not a spy shot because the, the sports are already able to be ordered. Um, but he saw one, actually one of our friends saw one driving around Detroit sent it to Matt and he posted in there so you can see it on the body um, if you're curious and waiting till 2024 for your heritage um, we also did the heritage uh, standard edition which yep. is not as limited um, that one's built on the black diamond and it is black diamond big bend verify for me black the or no, no, the Heritage Non-Limited. Heritage yeah. Non-Limited. Big, big Bend. Big Bend. Yeah. Um, so that one will be also on YouTube. It, we have the two-door on that one. A lot of you guys are interested in the modular hard top um, with the two-door because you're looking for the gunner hatch on that one. Um, so you can check out that YouTube video. You can't see it too clearly um, in the video, but more content will be coming. <laughs> and then um, we have the Sport and the, uh, the Limited and the uh, Standard heritage in yes. um, one video together. So yes. check those out. Um, check out, we've got some articles posted with some additional information. Um, I posted a, a split screen Instagram post of someone who's kind of built one um, before these were ever announced and just the way that they painted the bezel and some interesting things. I don't think a lot of you guys are going to want to modify the Heritage Limited just because it is so special edition. But mm -hmm. um, if you like the look and you want to start getting it for yourself, uh, check out the articles. Um, another thing that we did, uh, and this was kind of a <laughs> favorite it's of mine. Down. It's storming. <laughs> storming out here right now. Batting down the hatches. Live weather report, Laura. <laughs> um, it's raining. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Windy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if we just go black, something that, something happened. And tornadoes. Yeah. Um, so the other one is the Bronco Sport Does Colorado. And we yes. did this last year, same time last year as this event. And we <laughs> took a sport from Detroit drove it all the way to Colorado. We took it on the trails and we had so much fun with it. We were hanging out with our Badlands on 33s. Yep. Uh, 33s. Watts. That tent just went flying. Bronco. <laughs> it was this red Bronco before it was modified. Yeah. It was that one. His on 37s from TC Customs. And that sport. He's in the chat. Oh. Hey Mitch. Hey we were Mitch. just talking about you on our adventures last year. Um, Thanks for the donation, by the way. And uh, thanks for bearing with us. Yeah. We did go a little bit... What's the word I'm looking for? It's been a long week. We did go a little bit slower uh, with the sport. We were yeah, because it's got a little bit less clearance, but we did a, a great job with it. Um, and we just wanted to encourage you guys if you have a sport, Badlands, especially first edition, and you've got. Um, a little bit more capability with those ones. Uh, come to these events. We saw yep. uh, Badlands. They always seem to be in Cactus Gray, too. It seems yeah. to be a popular one for our off-roaders yes. of the sport community. Um, out here in the trail uh, lineups and the staging areas, getting ready to go out on, on some of the runs. I'm not sure which one that man was doing, but um, it's always a welcome vehicle. And we 
want to be able to highlight how capable it is. And uh, all you people who think that it's not a real Bronco, I don't think you've probably actually driven it They're off awesome. road. I they love are. them. And it's a great road trip. <laughs> That's vehicle. buying one. So <laughs> you can buy it for me. I'll, t- I'll take it. If you want to check out that article, go to the Bronco Nation dot com. It's um, on the. It's just scroll down. Should just be on the a home, few. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's on the homepage anymore. But it was. Um, you can read about the trails that we did, how it went. We did dent in the lower portion of the front bumper at one point on uh, Mosquito Pass. Yep. Uh, kind of just miss judged that we would get over that rock and we didn't but that's okay okay. it's it's expected and who doesn't come away from some trail damage we were talking to jake earlier who's gone through four lift kits uh fenders you you can look around Uh, here and see people with trail damage yeah Yeah, these people use them so and then you know where the where the parts are that you want to improve because that's how you wheel um so check that article out and then Pinch team, Brody yes. behind us. Green one. Uh, oh, oh, secret names. Um, yeah. <laughs> there is, if we shift Matt, <laughs> you would be able to see that uh, there are no covers on the pinch seam. And. Right, right. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. These, these things right here. So, very shortly though. I think they're inside the Bronco right now. They we are. are going to be adding on the Rock Slide Engineering Pinch Seam covers that they just introduced. BN members get 10% off yes. in the store. Yes. Um, so it brings down to a nice, I think it's like 160 for a four door. I don't know the two door price. Um, they're I, not in the store yet. Yeah. But they will be. Hopefully. They're online. Not in our not store. Not in our store. Yeah, no, but, on, but they are, they're on, on a, on a yeah. Rock Slide. But if members want it, you get member pricing soon. So. Yeah, so check that out. Um, we have an article posted on what they're made of. Um, just easy install. I think it was under 30 minutes. Don't quote me on that, but quote we'll me in the article. We'll do it report back, yeah. yeah. Um, so those those are a great product for someone who wants a little bit more of a finished look. It's not going to do anything structurally to your Bronco. It's more yeah. just to finish the look. Um, but if you don't have rock rails, which uh, Ford put on to support body weight, or you don't have um, some step sliders or something else aftermarket, and you don't want to see uh, the weld, go ahead and get those. Yep. Um, and then Woodward. So we had an excellent time with you guys at the Woodward Dream Cruise in Michigan. Um, we went all over. We did MAP. We did Ford um, Henry Ford State. We yep. did uh, Michigan. No, Assembly that is plant. yep, that is MAP. MAP. We did the World Headquarters. <laughs> yep. um, and then we did the Bronco Corral, and we yep. had about 285 people registered. We didn't count the Broncos as you guys were coming in and out. Uh, are you making that number up? Nope. Okay. Okay, because uh, that's <laughs> not the number. Um, <laughs> I'm going off the smart sheet. Oh. Uh, so we had no, a lot of people. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we had a lot of people <laughs> there be. and um, absolute excellent time with you guys. A lot of you guys went cruising. A lot of you guys just sat and checked out the mods. We had um, one of the Broncos that everybody seemed to like. They had the gloss white painted hard top that they did themselves on a cactus gray Bronco. Um so people are looking at that. Someone had made their own uh, donut doors, um, and so they're checking out those things. A lot of cool, a lot of cool mods that people had done. Um, we have pictures online of pretty much. I tried to capture uh, sections of everybody who was there and as they were coming and going. So everybody from Gen One all the way up to the six gens, and then we also had the special vehicles that Ford had brought over: yeah. Raptor, Wild Track, Everglades, the Heritage Edition. Um, Bronco and the Heritage Limited Sport, and those are also we have the um, Heritage Ed- Heritage Limited Edition Bronco here at yeah. Supercell West. So if you're coming out later this week and you want to check that out, um, you can pop open the doors, look at the leather, um, check out that plaid interior, and yeah. uh, get to know the vehicles a little bit better. So awesome. that kind of wraps up current stuff that we've been yeah. doing, current stuff on the website. You have um, any questions on whatever we did, just go to the articles and drop a comment below and yeah. I'll get to them. And we got a lot of familiar faces in the chat, so thank you guys so much for joining. We got Ali Dubois. Hello, Ali. Multiple Chris's. We got Chris Ohm, Chris Byrne, <laughs> Christopher Paris. There we go. Henry, Water Drive, Mitch, Town & Country, Nikki, Nurse AJ, all of you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them down below, uh, either for the brand manager or for us, and we'll get to them when we can. Lots of positive comments on these flannels. We figured we had to bring the meme back to life at one point and all match, so we all have our new Bronco Nation matching flannels that maybe will show up in the store soon. Who knows? Uh, But thank you, Laura, for that recap. We appreciate it. Of course. Lots of exciting stuff in the Bronco world. Next, another very exciting thing in the Bronco world is our trip to Iceland. Uh, So we have been working on this Legend Returns project for 
for a couple months now. We were filming in the early part of August, and now we are just a little over two weeks away from dropping our full-length documentary, The Legend Returns. We're super excited. We got merch coming as well, exclusive to Iceland. Well, you can buy it here, but it's exclusive Iceland merch. Wearing some test stuff right now that London will touch on a little bit later. But uh, in the meantime, if you have not seen it, we want to show you all our uh, the, the Legend Returns teaser. And when we come back from this teaser, the Bronco brand manager will be here live joining us and taking your questions. So 60 seconds away is the Bronco brand manager. Don't go anywhere and enjoy the teaser of The Legend Returns. Bronco was the first off-road vehicle in Iceland that has closed cabin and it was very drivable off-roads and on-roads. It was the most popular off-road vehicle in Iceland in 1966. It's uh, all about giving the old generations a continuing story with a new vehicle. Okay, so we've talked about these parts a lot, but one of our... Mm -hmm. Well, we are super excited about that project. Uh, like I said, the full-length documentary and the merchandise is dropping in just a couple weeks, so stay tuned for more information on that. But joining us live now is the new Bronco brand manager, Matt Winter. Uh, we have compiled questions from the forums, from the YouTube Super Chat, from across the internet of some of your guys' most burning questions that you always have for Ford. And so Laura is going to be kind enough to, she's filtered those questions, we've gone through them, and uh, we're gonna ask some of the most pressing ones to Matt. So. Laura, I'll let you take it away. So before I start that, I just want to say it's awesome when you come to these events and Ford makes themselves very accessible to you all. Yep. Um, so we have always liked to be uh, kind of like a translator of knowledge that we know and pass it along to you guys. But if you come to the events, you can speak to people directly. I, we, A lot of you guys know Esteban, the former brand manager. He kicked off the launch and was with us for about two and a half years. About. Roughly. Um, and you see Kelsey, you see Allison Davis, you see a lot of our friends at Ford who um, will be there able to answer questions directly. We had um, Tom come from Ford Performance at Woodward and it's just like if you want to answer, um, come speak to these people. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously they don't know the in, they know everything, but like they're, you know, if you give them your VIN off the top of the cuff, they're not going to have anything to do with that. Um, but it's awesome to be able to meet them and speak to them directly and answer questions and just get to know the people who want you to have this vehicle. Yeah. Um, so we have Matt here and Matt has been with uh, Bronco for what, four months now? Just about that, yeah. Okay, so about four months. You've been with Ford for several years, though, correct? Coming up on three years, okay. yes. Okay, yeah, so we've got to know him um, starting at, I think we went to Easter Jeep. Easter Jeep Safari, well, yeah. No, Moab 4x4 oh. Safari. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the branding right. Um, <laughs> so I think we that was one of our first events where we met you, and then we've got into enjoy meeting you at some of the other ones and getting to know you. Um, so what brought you to Bronco? <laughs> Well, I really wanted to do uh, work in the auto industry. Uh, huge Mustang fan, love an old V8, and really wanted to get close to the core business. And you can't get closer to an enthusiast product with a great legacy, an icon, uh, better than the Bronco. So really glad they brought it back and I was given the opportunity to work with everyone on this. So what is your favorite Bronco trim? <laughs> I'd have to go with the Badlands. That's uh, what I'm personally driving around in. Uh, Badlands two-door. Two-door. Uh, yeah. Laura's a part of the Badlands two door crew. Yeah. yeah. And you like the earlier gens too a lot, don't you? I do. I am a sucker for a first gen Bronco. That's awesome. We, It's like where we all came from. So, yeah. obviously, with the talk of the heritage before, and we're looking at a field of gorgeous first gens and gen twos and all sorts of other ones over there. So, it's a great place for you, I'm sure, oh, to be yeah. at this one. Um, so, let's get into some meat. Uh, earlier this week. <laughs> Not that that wasn't great, but I know what the people want. Um, earlier this week, uh, unscheduled order holders, I think on the 6th, received an email saying that they would be pushed to 2023, or there's a probability of it at least. Um, and then today, I believe there it was reportedly rumored that scheduling stopped for 22. Um, 
There was a lot of Broncos that were built in August, though. I think it was uh, the largest month to date this year, and yep. Matt, our Matt, will speak on that in, in a little bit. Um, but what is what is the goal with not opening the order bank immediately? Um, it seems like last year we ordered we opened earlier, and this year we pushed back. Uh, do you want to speak to that a little bit? Yeah. So we sent out an email on the six to communicate to people that. We're working through a lot of things. We're trying to get as many Broncos scheduled in 22 as we can. We know people have been waiting for a long time. Uh, we wanted to just touch base with them, let them know that there's a possibility of getting shifted into the 23 model year. And as we keep moving forward through September, there's going to be more communications coming out. And we're going to try to be a lot, very transparent about this process. As we go forward, too, uh, our goal is to focus on those orders, focus on the reservationists and the order holders who don't have their Broncos. And by not opening the order bank right away to that, uh, we're able to focus on those people more, get their Broncos to the front of the line, get them built quicker, uh, and avoid any other delays for them. That's good to hear. Um, I know that more additions have been launched over the last year. We had Raptor and Everglades in the Heritage, but it seems like you guys have at least tried to honor the early reservation holders, the people waiting by opening it to them first and um, just kind of working through that process. So it will be interesting to see um, when the order banks open, um, some of the changes, and I'm sure we'll be hearing more information on MY23 soon. Yes, uh, later this month, we're gonna be sending out more communications and letting people know uh, what's new, what's coming in 23, and uh, how to proceed with uh, the order if they do get pushed to 23. And I'll be honest, some of these have been confusing. We've had flow charts and things like that with price protection and all that. Will the dealers be equipped to work through that with the customers? And is that the person that you would recommend they go to to talk about pricing and changes and if they're doing anything different to their order? Yes. Okay. We are going to be addressing price protection and uh, providing that in the FAQs as well as providing dealers information on that so that the process can be as streamlined and as uncomplicated as possible for 23. We understand that a lot of people uh, want to know what they're going to get and we're going to try to make that as uh, easy to access and as transparent as possible. Okay, thanks Matt. Uh, Jordan, do we have questions coming in now that we want to do? or? Yes, we do. These are these have not been previewed by Matt, so we're just going <laughs> to take them delicately. Take them Any raw. updates on uh, Everglades production? Uh, we're going to keep building Everglades into 23. Okay. Uh, we're really hoping that as we make that available to current order holders, people uh, will see how it is now that some of them are out on the road and want to convert their orders into an Everglades, uh, get, take advantage of that factory snorkel and factory winch and really get out there on the trails and use that. Sweet. Continuing on the special trim theme, uh, any updates on Bronco Raptor deliveries? Those have started, correct? Yes, they have. Uh, there's going to be more of them on the roads in 23 as uh, production ramps up. Somebody else asks, let me find it, where did it go? Uh, DW asks, when will the Bronco 2023 be on build and price? I assume that probably is going to come with the order guide at some point. When the order guide and everything goes live and we start communicating the customers, we'll update the build and price with 23 information. Okay. Then one other person asked, Jason's asks, uh, what will the process for the Heritage Limited look like? Is it going to be similar to the Bronco Raptor? Those are going to be going to dealers. Uh, okay. So if you're interested, I would talk to your dealer now. Uh, we are only making 1966 of those to honor the year Bronco came out. So they will be a hot commodity. Uh, so talk to your dealer now, set up a good relationship with them, and hopefully you can get on the list. Awesome. This is another question we get a lot. Um, and you, I know this is a commodity constraint issue, but people are wondering, they want to, you know, they have a soft top. They want to eventually get a mic top from their dealer. Will those eventually be available? And is there a timeline for that? We don't have a timeline now, but okay. it is on our work list. We know people want to get those, especially the ones who switch to a soft top, and we want to make that available to them as quickly as possible. So we're working through that. Sweet. One last question from the chat before. Do you have any? I think you have a couple more questions about Ford I'm Pass Performance. I'm good for right now. Oh, Ford Pass yeah. Performance. So that one has been one that people, since the beginning when that came out, for those of you that don't know what Ford Pass Performance is, it is an app that was introduced back at before launch, and it was going to um, kind of be an assistant to you with trail guides and like an Onyx, like a Gaia, um, but for your Bronco specifically. So um, that app has been um, rumored to be coming out for some time. I think the latest, when we did the MY22.5, I think Ford updated saying that it was going to come out this year. Matt, does it still look like it's coming out this year? It's still in development and we don't have a release date, unfortunately, at this time. Okay. 
Is price protection still in effect? Price protection Pre is, uh, depending on when your order was. Okay. And there's several factors that go into yeah. what your price protection number is, but we haven't forgotten. People have been waiting yeah. a long time. And so, M. Peugeot, sure. your comment's incorrect. Um, but thanks for asking. Uh, da, da, da. One other thing. Oh, people wanted to know, is the white top that's going to be available on Heritage available? I know they had talked about like the black mod top and other stuff coming in 2023. White that was the plan. White tops are only going to be available for Heritage and okay. Heritage Limited Edition. What about painted black mod tops? Can't speak about that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Any more questions from you, Laura, before we let No, Matt thank go? you, Matt. Yeah, thank you so much, Matt, for your time. We really appreciate it. Great meeting you. So for those of you who want to know, this is the all-new Bronco Brand Manager. Uh, again, thanks for your time and taking time out of your busy schedule to talk with us and answer these questions. We really appreciate it. Yeah, Another new thing uh, that we want to talk about in a little bit with you guys is the new accessories and parts that we now have available on uh, our website, thebronconation.com, with exclusive member pricing. So we're going to show you a teaser of that, and when we come back, we have more to talk about. Okay, so we've talked about these parts a lot, but we want to show you what they look like actually on the vehicle so you can make your vehicle look as close to this one as possible. So our first three launch partners that we've started with are Rome, Heretic, and Trail Racks, and all of their products uh, are featured, well not all their products, but all those brands are featured on this vehicle. So if we come up here, starting up at the front, we got a full suite of Heretic lights. We got full ambers, we got a 40 inch light bar, uh, ditch lights, and then their fog light kits down here, which we love. These of course come in clear and amber. Our red Bronco has all the clear ones in this one. We went with all amber. Mounted beneath this light bar is the Trail Racks Tremor uh, modular roof rack from trail racks it goes all the way down the full length of the vehicle but the front and middle panels are removable with this rack and then we have the pack racks add-on that we put roto packs on as well again this rack is available on the bronco nation website with member pricing and then on top of all of that is our rome rugged cases we got three 83 liter rugged cases mounted up there to store random stuff uh, not only are these available but the rooftop tents their awnings all their variety of cases and storage solutions are available at thebronconation.com with member pricing as well and coming very soon soon as in the next few days 1552 off-road wheels will be available at the bronco nation as well these are obviously custom green but these are the analog hds um, but whether it's the traverse hds the analogs or any other of their 1552 off-road wheel products those will all be available on the bronco nation website with member pricing for both bronco and bronco sport so if anything on this vehicle you love and you want on your vehicle head over to the broncoNation.com gear store click the accessories or parts tab and uh, begin shopping Well, there you have it. Uh, all new accessories and parts now available on thebronconation.com. We're super stoked to have all of this available for you in one place. You don't have to go to multiple vendors to buy all these parts. You can all shop it in one cart. Your discounts are automatically applied. So we have trail racks, Roman Heretic, variety of parts. We got rooftop tents, we got storage cases, racks, lights, uh, and we have a couple more partners, both of which are featured on the builds behind us coming very, very soon as in like days away, if even less. So we're super stoked about that. To address the um, FAQ question and the price protection uh, we have receipts of course because we know what we're doing um, price protection is for those who whoops missed it sorry for honor 2021 model your msrp pricing if you had a reservation or order as of march 19th 2021 your dealer will be issued a certificate for a similarly equipped vehicle that covers the pricing difference for 21 to 22 for the selected series and configurations you reserved or ordered as of october 1 2021 final transaction details including price will be agreed upon by you and your dealer so you have price protection if your dealer's not giving it to you that's their fault so don't come for us don't come for ford this is straight from the website uh, in order to receive this price protection, your dealer will need to search for and apply the, cer the certificate at the time you take delivery of your Bronco. You will not receive an email with the discount certificate. F again, final transaction details, including the price, will be agreed upon between you and your dealer. So if you want that price protection, make sure you get a signed pricing sheet. And if not, tough luck. But and if you guys are having trouble with that, I did a whole article that I worked through very closely with Ford, and there's a flow chart, like I mentioned with Matt, um, and it, it will literally say, like, is this my position? Is this my position? Yes, no. And it will guide you through yeah. it. And then it will also help you if you, and it's pulled from the FAQs. Um, so go to the flow chart because I think that will be of use to you guys if you're, especially you're a visual person. Yes. Um, and you can just, yes, no, where am I? We put in 
almost every single possible. Literally, yeah. I think mm -hmm. we did put in every combination possible. And then um, just go through there. It'll help you a lot. Um, if you just Google MY22.5 Bronco Nation, the article will come up in the forums and on Google. Um, so we'll put a link in the description box yep. to that one because I know that one is concerning for many of you guys, especially it goes through if you're changing um, packages, if yep. you're changing to a different series, what happens, how much do I get per series. So a lot of useful information that yeah. we made sure that we went over very closely with Ford um, so that people would feel aware and um, ready to go with. Hold on, pull this up again because he's still going. Had a friend take delivery last week and they were price protected. Price protected. Again, Ford will honor 2021 model year MSRP pricing if you had a reservation or order as of March 19th, 2021. If you did not have those, you're not price protected. So if you ordered after, ordered or reserved after March 19th, you don't get it. So that's that, on you. And that was communicated to people before. We talked about this on the live streams like there months wasn't, ago, you know, yeah, years ago. So I understand it's frustrating if you didn't get what you wanted, but at the same time, too, there was a process that Ford went through to try and. What's the song say? You can't always what get what people. you want. But if you try sometimes, you'll get what you need. Yeah. Anyways, there's our answer. It's available online if you want to go read more on it. Speaking of production deliveries, Matt. Yes. Production have, is ramping up. Production is ramping up. And I think it's a lot you, better now than it was a year ago this time. Yeah. Oh, it's, what are, what are, how is it looking? What are the numbers? It's, what are the it's stats? It's looking good. Um, so I'm going to start by saying in July, the plant was closed down for about three weeks. So, yeah. you know, we look at production numbers from July and it's like, okay, production's way down. Um, but going into August now, it's stronger than ever. Um, and in August, we had 10,000 sales, which I think that counts as actual sale to a customer. So uh -huh. that's a customer getting their Bronco. And then 15,000 Broncos produced. So we know they're continuing to produce them. That's that the most produced in one month, um, which is awesome to see. I think that's kind of ramping up. They're probably getting into the hang of things. Um, you know, shortages with chips and different yeah. components like that. Um, hopefully you're starting to get sorted out. So um, looking at 15,000 a month now, if we translate that into, you know, next year and let's say 11 months of production, that's 165,000 Broncos. Um, so, you know, that's that's a lot of Broncos. We know there's a lot of people with orders, but hopefully we start uh, seeing those fulfilled. Yeah. And then with the order bank opening back up, um, getting people who, you know, may not have taken the opportunity to order their Bronco, um, actually kind of putting them in that process. So we're excited to see, uh, excited to see that year to date so far, we're at 75,000 sales and about 90,000 produced. So we know they're Good. being produced yeah. and then sitting uh, in different lots. We've seen the photos of all the Broncos. We've seen the Broncos. We had a lot of people in the chat saying they got their VINs this week or they recently got their VINs. Yeah, so. I've, heard, I've heard of which is exciting. On the yeah. forums, are many of our well, day one, hour yeah. ones. I know. I've, I, we get emails from people emailing in and they're so excited. Finally I'm like, van. finally got it. And um, yeah, I mean, you've been waiting a long time and I think it's encouraging to see, okay, now they're producing more than ever. They're, you know, giving, you're selling more to customers than they ever have. Um, and we're seeing a lot more on the road at events. Yeah. Like, here, there's a lot of people that are just now getting their Bronco. And now this isn't a knock on our map employees over there that yeah. work so hard, but check they're your Bronco our, over. They're not our employees. They're not they're employees. Not our, yeah. not our employees. <laughs> we have nothing to do with them, but um, check your Bronco over. We looked at one of our mods. He got a Goodyear and three BF Goodriches on his Bronco when it arrived finally. So um, give give a, give it a little look-see. Uh, go just over check. it with your dealer. and Check your seats. Make sure you make didn't sure get one match. leather or one cloth. <laughs> <laughs> so we appreciate that Ford is just churning these out. I know that it was a goal. Um, I, I feel like they've said repeatedly yeah. that they wanted to get as many out as possible, but yep. that doesn't mean they're going to be perfect. <laughs> no. uh, KW3 asked, does the roof rack on the red Bronco behind you allow for the second row roof to come off? It does not. That's the OEM roof rack, but the trail racks rack on the green one does allow for the first and second row roof panels to come off, which is a nice plus. Now, can the front panel come off with the red one? Yes, the front two panels yep. can, but not the second row. Nikki Brewer said, got hers today. Awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Next. Yeah. What are we talking about next? Events. Or anything else in production, Matt? No, I mean, no. I think that's that's it. You know, production's moving Good along. Deal. People are getting their Broncos, yeah. and hopefully it picks up even more. You True. know, it continues to go. We'll, we'll see. We'll get monthly reports, so. Agreed. Laura, 
events. What we got on the calendar events. for the rest so, of 2022? I can't believe it's almost, or it's already September. Yeah, uh, next month will be our next event that we are going to as Bronco Nation as a entity. Um, it'll be Overland Expo East. It's in Virginia. It's October 7th through 9th. Um, if you guys had came out to Flagstaff or Oregon, yep. um, it'll be a similar vibe. We'll have a Bronco base camp. Um, everything that you need to do to register is hosted through Overland Expo East. They've yeah. just, um, we've got a space there that we can have campers come and um, stay with us. So if you go to thebronconation.com, there's an article um, on Overland Expo East, how to register. Yep. Uh, there's a link with just, it's a special tracking link with Black Splash bronco nation in it and that yeah. will put you with our group and it's all you need to do um so just go ahead and check that one out um it's also on the calendar as well i haven't put the link i think in the calendar so i'm going to go ahead and do that after this live stream um but we would love to have you come out to that it's great if you're into any kind of overlanding if you want a bronco that looks like this or this both of these um if you want something to tow behind your bronco um plenty of trailers over there uh all sorts of anything to make going off-road overlanding easier um a lot of our partners are there uh in the last two we did trail rides um i think that is still we haven't scouted out yet yeah. what we're doing for that one but especially camping um come come stay with us we'd love to have you we have a great time just going through the expo and um looking at each other's broncos and just a chill time uh yeah it's, it's Overlands a, are a blast. Space. Yep. yeah and the bronco from iceland will be there as well oh yeah celebrity in the flesh <laughs> my toolkit's in there You're i need that out <laughs> <I've been missing laughs> that. your toolkit i I've don't want to bring it on the plane your toolkit's <laughs> been to more countries I, than you have i've been waiting to repair my lawnmower um <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I will not be at ease, so somebody ship that to me at uh, some we'll, point. We'll but it, it, we'll it, it was too. useful there, wasn't it? Yes, I think you used no, it, it was. So. We had to install the roam cases. Yeah, perfect. Um, Henry says, I got a Raptor floor mat on the driver's side of my Badlands. Oh, see, a Raptor. Li a souvenir. Little, That's kind of cool. Like, yeah, little yeah. things like that. Um, Easter egg. You know, it happens. So the guy that's, end, but it does. that says we're Ford actually says he works at Ford. Okay. So you should know. You should know we're not Ford. You can look us up in the little employee system. In the directory. L in the directory. Laura Zelinsky's not in there. Jordan, Jordan Parker, Parker, Matt Russell, maybe, Reeves. Maybe, you can see. Maybe another. Another another Matt. There could you be another Matt. You've got a common name. It's a yeah. common name. Yeah. So any ETAs for buying a hard top as an accessory? Uh, we asked Matt winter earlier about that and he said no for the factory but they've the got factory, yeah. they've got several out right now there's the adv it's right not out yet oh it's not no, no. They, i think they just um, made the first one yes like they just yeah, dropped the, they have the first prototype bit. and there was another one that gremlin in the forums posted too i'd have to go back and look who the manufacturer was it was more of i think in the prototype stage but they're starting to show up as Are possibilities oh, as oh. possibilities oh, okay, in gotcha, the future gotcha. i don't know if they're going to beat ford but it's going to give you some options yeah. yeah i one little tidbit i saw that's kind of cool is that the average bronco buyer spends 1700 dollars on accessories from ford 1700 i don't think, on I think it would be ford. more oh from just yeah. Ford directly yeah. okay yeah yeah because you can roll that into your like payment or lease right. or whatever but it's cool like, a lot of people, people are, are using their points for that yeah yeah, yeah. definitely accessory maybe we'll offer hard tops as an accessory from us but some flannel point. edition Flan a flannel hard top <laughs> plaid hard, plaid hard top like, hey they're doing it with interiors but mitch we do have dealer pricing on our accessories so if there's anything you want on this bronco let me know and we'll get you dealer pricing on those accessories next continuing the accessories theme merch you guys yes. have seen london a few times now she was our wonderful merchandising specialist and she's going to talk about give you guys some hints Yes, for sure. We are very excited about these new Yetis that we have. We have a new white one, and then there's a navy one over there um, by Thank Matt. Thank you, Keep We on. are super excited about those. I also have a sweatshirt right here. Um, this is one of our newest items for women. It's really fun. It comes in two different colors. You can get it in there. Um, so we're super excited about that. Um, right back here, as you can see, our favorite green Bronco. We have a hat coming soon with yes. some inspiration from this Bronco for it. So yep. I'm really I excited that. about I'm that. I'm excited. We're, we're <laughs> finding this out. has been cooking and some stuff up. <laughs> yes, very excited about that. Thank you. Um, for fall, we're restocking some of our best selling yes. hoodies and crew necks, which you guys love. Um, we have some new um, some new blanks for them. So just a different, yep. a different sweatshirt, but you know, same style you guys know and love. Yes. And then another exciting thing, as you can see, Jordan's 
hat. We have some Iceland merchandise, which will be coming out um, at the same time that the video drops. So yeah, two-ish weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks. So we're Got really excited about that. What all do we have? Hoodies? Yes, we Shirts. have. So we have a hoodie, we have a long sleeve, a short sleeve, and then we have a couple hats. Yep. So we have the one Jordan's wearing, and then we have another one that is a new material we've never done before. So we're really excited about that. Yeah. Um, and we have some stickers. We have a lot of things coming. Of things. So I think you guys will be happy. And these with flannels seem to be in hot demand. I know. We I just know. made we these for fun because it. we had to meme it, the and everyone's like, "Leather patches." I know. The nice. detailing's great. People are fine. People like eight people have asked for these already yeah. for well, the link. They're not available. Yet? Not yet. Not yet. But yet. we do one. have a flannel coming out in a sticker pack, so I'm excited about that. You guys can all get one of those. You get the sticker before the flannel. <laughs> the flannel, we want to make sure it's right. We're, te we're uh, durability testing these yeah. two. Yeah. One thing I want to add, too, is that if you see something on our website that's not in stock, you I can click notify yeah. me, and we see that, so we know oh, what you want yeah. um, and, and what you... Speaking oh, of the site... We, we got it up. Mm. We, here's the site. <laughs> There's the site. Laura... What's our site all about? We got latest news, we got forums, we got the gear stories you can see here, tees, long sleeve hats, it's all sorted by category. You can see there are the vehicle accessories, which is where you can shop all this stuff and a growing list of partners, all with member pricing except Yeti. But we do, these Yeti Ramblers, the 20-ounce, were super hot this summer, mm -hmm. like we sold out of them. So we're restocked on these, and we have two new colors for the yes. Bronco Nation specific ones, white and then navy blue down there, which is really cool. So if you want one of these, they now come in new colors, which is great. Still got our Nal jeans. All that fun stuff. So if you're into the Yeti drink where they don't have member pricing, mm -hmm. but they have new colors, so yeah. you can get that. But one yeah, other, there's our site. One other exciting thing about these, I know for Father's Day, we had some member numbers that you guys could get on yes. these. So we're definitely going to be bringing something back like that for Christmas time. Um, for whether you want it for a gift or for yourself, we will be doing that again. Um, yeah. And we're really excited about it because we know you guys love it. So Yes. Yes, all the things. All the things. Well, thank you for taking us through that. <laughs> London is working super hard on a whole myriad of things. Um, the sun shirts that you guys might have seen were a massive hit. Yes. I think there's some still available on our website. Yes, we do have some. So are we restocking those maybe? No, we'll have to see. Next summer. So get your hands <laughs> on them while we can. Also, the Iceland stuff is going to be limited. Like, yes. we're, you know, so it's going to be dropped um, at a specific time on a specific date that we'll let you know. And once it's gone, it's gone. So mm -hmm. make sure you get your hands on that stuff because it won't be won't be made again. Um, the notify, yeah, John Hines says, thank you for the notify me button. We just added that. Um, yeah. And that was all from feedback from you guys. So thank you. Let us know any yeah. feedback you have. But uh, you'll get an email as soon as items are restocked. That has it, been fantastic yeah. for us to see because... Yeah, it lets us know what you want. Yeah, it yeah. lets us know right. sizes, colors, all of that. So that's, you know, great feedback for us. Yes. And if there's any Bronco stuff that's not in the store, send us an email, info at thebroncoNation.com or gear at thebroncoNation.com. Either tag one. Tag us in the forums. I mean, yeah. yeah, tag us in the forums, tag us on social media. But, you know, if there's something you want to see in the store, some sort of cool Bronco mm -hmm. gear, um, we, we can make it. We listen to all the feedback, so... so. Yeah. Technical disaster asks pink hoodie question mark. <laughs> oh, he's been for the question wife. of the day. Maybe. <laughs> Micah says he bought the sun shirt. It's awesome. Fantastic. Love it. We love that. Love the idea of getting personalized swag. Great array of BN products. Thank you. We're yep. working every day. Yep. Somebody says those are the most comfortable. I wonder if he's talking about the sun shirts. Hope you are. Um, they are. Great. Last but not least, we have Q&A, current events current likes and dislikes so i'll open it up to a the audience if you guys have any pressing questions about us you can ask them uh in the comment super chat on the right side of your screen but we're gonna do a likes and dislikes favorite bronco we've seen here although many of them left when the rain started yeah but i've got mine i've got mine too want to start down there matt we'll start oh, well. with you um so mine's nothing crazy but there was one here that was a four-door area 51 that had we refer to them by their color. It's like, I don't know. I think that's so funny. Someone who doesn't know what we're talking about would be like, what? Yeah. Um, it had a Gobi rack on it though, which is the new rack that you can actually put over a soft top. And I, I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool to see, to see that. Um, it's something different. It's new. He just had it put on like two days ago. And he had a hard top, but we've seen it on the soft top too here, right? Yeah. He had Casey top, has yeah. it on his, uh, on his soft top. So something different you know a lot of people are asking what can i put on a soft top um so that's something there but I, I really liked what he did to his bronco super well done yeah um that's what i liked but dislikes i don't know i'll think about that 
no dis. Well, no, there are dislikes. Laura, your favorite Bronco. <laughs> um, I haven't picked out a favorite one. I was walking around earlier today, um, just just chatting with some of the owners, Perusing. looking at um, Yeah. Um, what I was excited to see was Ashley Gill's Bronco May Pearl. May Pearl. Um, I've never seen her Bronco yet. I met her at Supercell East last year. Well. And we had her at West last, last year, yeah. too. And she hasn't entered. Yeah, she came out here without a Bronco. Yeah. I love that. Like, just people wanted to come on the trails. And um, I was excited to see that one because I, I she goes everywhere with that. She creates yep. a ton of content. Mm-hmm. And uh, she loves that thing. And she does a great job running it. And uh, looks gorgeous. And um, I thought that was yeah. fun to see. Like, it's it's really... That's why I like coming to these events so much. It's so many familiar faces now. What does her Bronco look like? It is red. Race okay. red. Two-door. Big okay. Ben Sasquatch. Okay. And it looks great. Yes. Um, so it's it's so much fun just to see you guys, see your Broncos in person. A lot of you guys are just getting them, and it's, yep. it's cool to see uh, yeah. the ones that we awesome. have heard about. London, favorite Bronco. I know yes. what yours is. Yes, there was one that really caught my eye today. It was a Gen 1. It was like a bright Kelly green color, and it had a matching trailer. And I uh, thought it yeah. was super cool. I had never seen one of those before. So it was like the exact, you know, the Bronco, the trailer, the yeah, whole situation. Yeah. Loved it. Mine is a Gen 1 two-door. Wow, that was really dumb. They only <laughs> came in two <laughs> Nice. Long Gen, day. Gen 1 in red. I don't know the exact name Sasquatch of the Gen 1 red color. Yeah. <laughs> it was like all stock. It had like those um, stainless steel or like those chrome dish style wheels yeah. on it. Like to- not lifted at all. The ones you'd see in like the old 60s and 70s campaigns, ad campaigns. Beautiful condition. Red, white top, chrome wheels. It was beautiful. Or that Bahama blue, Bimini blue one right there as well is yeah, also a favorite that I see every year here that I love. School. That's a great one. Um, 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 KWM Peugeot says the flannels look comfy. Thank you. They are. You'll have to pick one up for yourself. <laughs> Dr. Detroit says the Bronco swag is cool though. Props to you guys. You're killing it. Amazing. Thank Credit you. Credit to this London. one right here. Uh, KW3 asks electric Bronco anytime in the future. I actually wanted to talk about this a little bit because Jeep announced today two new fully electric Jeeps. The Jeep Recon, which is fully yeah. electric, and the Jeep Wagoneer S, I believe, um, which is their first fully electric vehicles from Jeep, um, or Fiat, I should say. Um, so the Recon, it it looked from the pictures that kind of in size comparison-ish to the Wrangler, yeah. but it had like Defender styling a little bit. It looks kind of like a Renegade. You think so? Yeah. A better Renegade. The Renegade's pretty yeah. bad. I saw a better that one Renegade. photo of it, so I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Um, yeah, not the Gen 1 station wagon. Uh, hey, Mike Clouds has a has a four-door Gen 1. <laughs> so he does, yeah. There is yeah. one in existence, yeah. but, you know, I did misspeak on that one. Green one. Um, so, oh, and Mike is picking up his Bronco tomorrow, which is awesome. Um, where was I going with Electric. This? What was I? Oh, electric. Yeah. yeah, so I'm sure in the future they're coming. Obviously, Ford is very much moving in the electric space with the Mach-E, with the F-150 Lightning. Last month was like their biggest EV sales month yeah. to date. Wh- so. Which, to be fair, isn't saying a ton because it was up well, like yeah, it's 200%, like just but it was like from 1,000 to 2,000. Right. Yeah, but um, that's very fair. So Ford is obviously investing with their Model E, investing a ton into um, the BEV space. And so we see the whole industry moving that way. So I assume a hybrid Bronco will come first and then eventually maybe a full Bev Bronco, but that's got to be years out. And again, this is all speculation, not firsthand knowledge, but um, I would assume yes, eventually. That's just where the industry is going. Yeah. I I would probably expect to see a hybrid before we see that, but. Mfly23 says, any Oats Edition news? Mm. No. Oats. Oats. I'm hungry. <laughs> we don't have any news. Yeah. No, there's none. Ford is not getting into the agri- agricultural space. Um, no, we don't have any news on oats. We actually haven't heard any official updates from anyone other than the leaked order guide. Um, yeah. Can you give me your red Bronco? I love it and don't have the money to buy one. Unfortunately, not. That's sure. Not our Bronco either. Yeah. 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 That's our ambassador unit from Ford. So we, we couldn't give it to you if we wanted to. Um, Allie says it's not BN's job to go over price protection. It's Ford and the dealers. Very true. Allie, our advocate. <laughs> Love you. Um, 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 anything else from you guys? Thoughts? Feelings? Questions? Qualms? I can't wait to get on the trail even tonight. We're going to do a dusk ride. 
Yeah. We did one last year. That'll be fun. I just want to get out and do some driving and riding. Somebody asked about Bronco Raptor allocation. I heard one of my friends text me today saying their dealer texted them today offering a 23 Raptor allocation. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like dealers might have them. They obviously started shipping as we talked about a little, little, bit, little bit earlier a couple weeks ago. But it um, sounds like dealers are starting to reach out to customers on a list, on their list for allocation. So there's a possibility. Again, I would talk to a dealer. Um, thoughts about the Bronco 2? <laughs> You know, we were behind one. Yeah. Have you all seen oh, the Target morning. Bronco 2 flannels? <laughs> 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 That's what we're Target in the has store. a beautiful Bronco 2 flannel that you guys can buy it's online. It's going viral right it's now. It's going so viral we can online. Look it up and it'll come up. Yeah. TM says, not sure if you covered it, but what is the color of the green Bronco behind you? Is that a wrap? Yes, it is a wrap. And it is matte mil Should I even say it? Yeah, I will. I'm not going to gatekeep. Matte military green by 3M. Lots of mats today. Matt. So many mats. <laughs> so many mats. Yes, Matt Military Matt Green Matt. by 3M. We love it. We're big fans. The wheels are color matched from 1552. Um, if you want us to do custom green wheels, let us know. 1552 has agreed to it, so that's that. Anything else from you guys? No? If you're not no. already, you can follow us on all of our social media pages, which are going to be right there. Uh, Instagram and TikTok at the Bronco Nation, Twitter, Facebook all the fun stuff. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to your YouTube channel by hitting the big red subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. Like, share, turn the notification bell on, all that fun stuff. Uh, as always, we really appreciate you guys joining. Great crowd tonight. You guys are very enthusiastic and conversational, which we love. It makes our jobs more fun because we can talk to you in real time. Uh, want to give a few thank yous. Thank you to Matt Winter for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you to Jason, our producer. Chip back in Detroit, who's working behind the scenes on this as well. The entire Bronco Nation crew uh, for making this possible. Tom Bromberg for making Super So West possible. Colorado Early Bronco Club. Colorado Early Bronco Club. All the wonderful people who stopped Everyone by today. Here. If you're in the Buena Vista, Colorado area, this event goes tomorrow and Saturday. So swing by, go on a trail drive, come say hi to the team, uh, buy some merch, and just come hang out. It's been a great time as always. Thank you all for joining us. We hope to talk to you. Well, we will talk to you again soon. We'll give you a date when you find out. But as always, stay tuned for updates. Uh, and yeah, thanks to our members. You guys are what make us this possible. If you're not a member, become a member so you can get discounts on parts like this and a whole other slew of accessories and uh, benefits. And okay, since we can't have your Bronco, can we at least convince you to do a flannel giveaway? I feel we'll like see. we I feel like we could make that happen. <laughs> it's a lot can. easier than a Bronco giveaway. Convinced to what? To flannel do a flannel, flannel giveaway. giveaway. Oh yeah, we have I a couple think, extras. Yeah we, yeah, we can make that happen. Yeah, we could. Yeah. Forums. We'll do it in the forums. Yeah. So if forums. you're not in the forums, go check it out. We'll do our flannel giveaway over there. Be on the lookout. We'll do it. Be on the lookout. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We'll talk to you next time. Take care. See ya.